what you talking about now, saying? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore seen underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can always always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge and freedom i'm out the, the infinite consciousness which is the next 360 degrees you know so it take so it's not don't don't be it twisted it's not seven 720 degrees or it's not two forms of 360 degrees you feel what i'm saying but it's two dynamics of it well i guess that's the same shit never mind but the point that i'm trying to make you still have your finite and you have your infinite because you have two no it isn't it's two expressions because in the grand, in the total, in the totality of it, <clears throat> in the totality of it, still one chakra system, right? So you have to understand the finite before you can understand the infinite, right? So when you go into the infinite now, you have three chakras, as I said, 10, 11, and 12. You feel what I'm saying? Ultimately, there's, there's still, you know what I'm saying, you still have 13 dimensions. You have the one through 12, and then you have the zero dimension as well. So there's 13 dimensions, but I'm not, that's, again, another conversation. So 10, 11, and 12 are the next three chakras which govern the energy for, um, for infinite consciousness, right? Which is another 360 degrees, which is the circle. So <clears throat> when you break that down, you got to solve for X. So then you got 1X plus 2X plus 3X, which is ultimately 6X. X is going to be 360 divided, by, um, 60, 360 divided by 6, which is 60 degrees. So the first, the first blackness is 60 degrees of consciousness. The second blackness is 120 degrees of consciousness. And the third blackness is 180 degrees. Single blackness, double blackness, triple blackness. Now, the reason why it's blackness is because it's all consuming. It's not a color, it's an it's a, it's a essence. You feel me? That becomes an essence and that's where your infinite creation comes in. You feel what I'm saying? So, here's where all of the shit ties in and starts to come together. Because as I say, you have 12 systems, which is one chakra system. That is associated with you as the individual, but you have two expressions of it, two dynamics, the finite and the infinite. And when you bring them together, you now have the squared circle and a circle square. One of the one of the uh, most it's a subconscious reality that we speak on, but it's funny as shit. But we need to we need to change and understand why we say it. Where they say keep squares out your circle. Like we were like, yo, you gotta keep them squares out of your circle. Think about that shit. If the square is infinite and your circle is infinite, why do you, why would you, would you not want to keep squares out of your circle? Because you're now dealing, squares are limited in idea. Like it's it's finite, so it's limited. You feel what I'm saying? And if you know your circle is infinite, see, there's certain shit that we already spoke that we don't even know that you know what I'm saying. We knew. You know what I mean? It's some powerful shit. Even when the language has been taken from us, even when like that's how you know where your divinity is raw. Because even when your language has been taken from you and you now have to master another language and you can still invoke the shit based off that language from your subconscious mind and your unconscious mind, you's a bad motherfucker. Boy, I'm trying to tell you. You feel me? Say, hey, look, keep the squares out your circle. And ironically, squares in our circle do what? Limit us. So now here's where this shit comes together. But... In that dynamic, you still got to understand that the two go hand in hand. You have to square circles and you have to circle squares. You feel what I'm saying? And what I mean by that is this. In one dynamic, you have to have an, uh, uh, you, you have to bind some of this shit. You just can't let the shit run off forever because you have to put a, a, a box around it. You feel what I'm saying? And that's where you square the circle. You square the circle. You put the circle, you square around the circle, basically. Right? It's, two, it's still 360 degrees. But you're allowing the infiniteness to have a realm where it's not controlling you. You control it. Because if you just allow infinity to run loose, what the fuck happens? You feel what I'm saying? So you have to put a box on it. But then you also have to circle the square. You feel what I'm saying? You have to put the circle around the square. That's because when you have this finite reality, you still need that infiniteness, that infinity to infuse in it so your possibilities can create more. You feel what I'm saying? This is why you got to understand both levels and the dynamics of the chakras. You feel what I'm saying? So when it comes to the blackness, from black, black, blacker to blackness and the, the different um, levels of it, those um, perspectives are going to give you the, um, the uh, creative forces. So this is why I said al the alchemy comes in handy in the infinite. That's when you start really doing alchemy and outside of that. But then when you bring the two together, you now you have 
you have alchemy and then you have your alchemical moments. You feel what I'm saying? That have to work together. Because you just can't be putting alchemy everywhere. Like you just can't be an alchemist all the fucking time because you can create destruction too if you're not careful. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to be able to control that shit. But then again, when you are having an alchemical moment, you need to expand your possibilities. You feel what I'm saying? You need to have your circle square. You know, so you know what your limitations are and you create those limitations. But all of this has to come in from understanding the different levels of shock.